We are not scared anymore, Mr. Gore. A climate change story for little skeptics by geologist Mark Hendricks. Miss Green had a surprise visitor for us. Mr. Gore has popped in to tell us about dangerous climate change. Hello, children. I have some important news to share with you. The world is warming, and we are all to blame. I am here to tell you why, and show you how dangerous it will be for all of us. This graph shows temperature for the past 1,000 years, and it proves that today's temperatures are not normal. And look how hot things are going to get. But Mr. Gore, that graph is wrong. Two scientists, McIntyre and McKittrick, proved so in 2003. Their corrected graph using the same data shows temperatures were hotter 1,000 years ago during the medieval warm period. You need to check your facts, Mr. Gore. Seems like they cherry-pricked the proxies. That's not science. You can't scare me, Mr. Gore. Woo-wee! So, why is the climate heating up? It's all due to carbon dioxide from man-made sources. CO2 is a greenhouse gas. More CO2 in the atmosphere will cause the temperatures to rise. Every time your mum or dad drive their car, they help heat up the planet. This graph shows how CO2 has increased since 1750. It's gone up by 100 parts per million. Look how high it could go! Mr. Gore, CO2 has a logarithmic effect on temperature. Most of the rises due to CO2 have already happened. Adding more CO2 won't do much to the temperature. Mum and Dad can drive the car all they want. Thank you very much. Mr. Gore, this graph shows temperature and CO2 data for the last 650,000 years. If CO2 is solely responsible for warming, then why does a rise in temperature occur before a rise in CO2? You have things the wrong way around, Mr. Gore. You can't scare us, Mr. Gore. Whee! Not again. Children, another piece of evidence that proves CO2 is to blame is computer modelling. Computer models predict things will get much hotter if we don't stop burning fossil fuels. In fact, in 100 years the average temperature could be 6 degrees warmer. Mr. Gore, computer models are not evidence. Computer models have not been able to predict temperature changes over the last 20 years. Why would anyone trust them to predict climate 100 years into the future? Even the IPCC admit that long-term prediction of future climate states is not possible. Nice try, but I'm not scared. Garbage in, garbage out. Children, the world's leading scientists all agree that man has caused dangerous climate change. If you don't believe me, then you should believe them. Mr. Gore, politics and religion about consensus. Not science.
No one agreed with Darwin and Galileo, but in the end, scientific evidence proved them correct. It only takes one fact to falsify a theory. For instance, if CO2 is responsible for global warming, why is there no hot spot over the tropics? Hmm? Not scared, Mr. Gore! It's funny how some researchers rely on computer models of wind shear to take atmospheric temperatures, when weather balloons will do just fine. Why would you use an anemometer to measure temperature? Now that I have convinced you that man-made climate change is real, let me tell you how dangerous it is. If we don't reduce our carbon emissions, sea levels will rise, flooding low-lying coastlands. Some islands will disappear under the rising tide. Come on, Mr. Gore. Even the IPCC predicts that sea levels will only rise about 20 centimetres over the next 100 years. This is about the same rise that occurred last century. We don't need Noah's Ark, Mr. Gore. Just a small brick wall will do. I'm not scared. Geologists have known the climate has changed for a long time. For climate, change is the only certainty. We need to treat it like any other natural hazard and deal with it as it comes. I'll get you out of there in a second, Mr. Gore. Children, there will be more hurricanes and more heat waves. More people will die! Mr. Gore, even if you are correct, an increase in wind shear will offset higher sea level temperatures, higher sea temperatures, leading to little or no change in hurricane activity. As for heat waves, it actually means less people will die from the cold, so it's a good thing. My nana says the warmth helps her arthritis. I'm not scared, Mr. Gore. Oh no, a hurricane! Don't worry, Mr. Gore. I've got you. Well, you're not going to like it when those fuzzy, furry polar bears start dropping like flies. Goodbye! Honestly, Mr. Gore, more polar bears are killed each year by hunters than climate change. If we were to help polar bears, perhaps we should stop shooting them. Thank you, Mr. Gore. I'm not scared anymore. Now how fast can you run, Mr. Gore? We're not scared anymore, Mr. Gore! Come back, Mr. Gore. Goodbye, come back any time. Oh, no ammo. Oh well. Run, Mr. Gore. Run. Click, click. Run, Mr. Gore. Run.